Hey, um, my name is Caleb Howitt and I work at PSP Gagetown and today we're going to be doing a core and mobility workout. Um, today I'm not going to be playing any music for you, uh, so uh, you just uh, load up your own tunes and, and uh, follow along. Yeah, And uh, so I'm going to read this disclaimer and then we will get started. Awesome. Okay, in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering, offering telefitness to Canadian Armed Forces members. By using social media platforms and telefitness classes tailored to Canadian Armed Forces personnel become accessible to all. Prior to participating in this session and to make an informed decision on whether you should, should seek advice from a qualified exercise professional or healthcare provider, consult the Get Active questionnaire of the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference documents simply by clicking the links below. So there's going to be two links posted below this video. You're just going to go to those and see if this workout is right for you. Okay, awesome. By continuing with this telefitness class, you understand that there is a possibility of physical injury and you agree to do so voluntarily and at your own risk. You assume all risk of injury and agree to release the Canadian Forces Morale and Welfare Services from any and all claims related to your participation in this telefitness class. Awesome. Okay, let's get started, let's get warm, and let's have fun. Awesome. So I'm gonna head back here. So, we're going to start off in the tabletop position. So, we're going to get right here. Okay, feet flat. Nice. So, we're going to try a great bracing progression. So, we're going to start with pulling our belly button in towards our spine. But when we do that, we don't want to round the back up. We want to keep everything nice and flat and then in a neutral spinal line. So, looking at the floor, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and we're just going to Pull this belly button in towards the spine. Also here, I want you to think about tightening up or tensing up through our obliques, the side of our body, and then through our erectors or our back muscles. So we want the four, four sides of our um, collar or our, our trunk to be active. So while keeping that active, we're going to find our toes in the back. And then we're going to lift our knees slightly off the floor and still keep that brace. We're just going to breathe there, knees slightly hovering off the floor. All right, so lowering back down, still keeping that brace. Still keeping that brace, all four sides. We're going to lift again, still keeping that tension through our body. back down. Okay, now we're going to warm up through the wrist. So we're going to do some finger presses. We're going to press through our fingers. Because we're going to do a lot of stuff on our hands and we're going to even have a, a little challenge today. So uh, we want our wrists really warm for that. Our body really prepared. And um, you know, we're just going to have fun with it. Just pressing through our first three fingers. Making sure that our shoulder Elbow and wrist and fingers are all in straight alignment. We're going to go to our fists. We're going to rock forward on the first finger. Rock back on our last. Great, everyone. Let's get the elbows nice and warm, get the wrists nice and warm. First finger, our last finger, just rocking back and forth. Okay, now we're going to position our hands up, like our hands flat, but on the back of our hand. So I'll show you from another angle. Hands flat, but on the back of the hand. So now, if there's too much weight on it, uh, you can always move your knees closer to your hands. If it's too little, you can always move your knees away. And what we're gonna do is press up into a fist and then lower back down. Press up into a fist and then lower back down. Nice. 
nice work, everyone. Just getting those wrists all warm and mobile. We're going to warm up the elbow a little more. We're going to make circles with our elbows. So we're going to bring the elbows back, out to the side and up. Back, out to the side and up. Just making a nice smooth circle. Those elbows, shoulders, wrists, nice and warm, moving all together. And then the other direction, so out, in, and up. Nice. Okay, next we're going to work through the shoulder. So we're going to keep our arm nice and straight. We're going to move uh, through our shoulder. So we're going to bring our, our chest down as close to the floor as we can without bending our arms. And then what we're going to do is press our chest away from the floor as far as we can without bending our arms. Well, it would be hard to bend your arms. Try to push away, but <laughs> come back down towards the floor. You're pushing away. Come down towards the floor and pushing away. It's called scalp shrug. Just getting everything moving. Just pushing the floor away and pulling the floor uh, towards the chest. Pushing the floor away. Bring the chest down towards the floor. Okay, next. Just gonna sit down. Bring the arms up to the side. We're just gonna make small circles. Just gonna be nice and warm through the shoulder girdle. Circles a little bigger. Nice. A little bigger still. And big as you can go. Other direction, palms facing up. Just working on getting the shoulders nice and toasty. bigger. Bigger still. And big as you can go. Nice. Okay, what are we doing next? Oh, sweet. So, we're going to start in that tabletop position. We're going to sit back into a child's pose, we're gonna stay there for too long, and then we're gonna sh shift forward into a cobra. Back into a child's pose, shift forward into a cobra. So, child's, we're just sitting back under our heels, running the chest down towards the floor, and then cobra, we're dropping the hips, squeezing the glutes, getting the chest up nice and tall. We're going to come back to a tabletop position. We're going to hover opposite arm, opposite foot. We're going to do a bird dog hand warm up. Keeping that, that brace on and our column both sides. We're just going to lift one arm, one leg out. We're going to hold this for 10. Or we're trying not to rotate. We're trying to stay nice and tight. 7, 8, 9, and 10. Come back down to the mat. And let's switch sides. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're hovering. And back down to the mat. We're going to slightly lift opposite side again, our original sides. 
And we're gonna lift up, so arm up to the leg, try and keep everything nice and tight. Now do for 10. Coming back down, we're hovering. Switch sides, we're just gonna lift nice and light. Knee off the floor, hand off the floor. Lifting out. Like that. Just hovering the hand on the knee over the floor. Next, we're going to just spin around, lay it on her back, so we're going to lift through her hips, brace through our bellies. We're just warming up here, okay? So, we want to think really about bracing, keeping this, uh, our torso in alignment. We want to push through our hips, squeeze our bum. We want to think about really grabbing the floor with our feet. Really spreading out the toes and then pressing down through the floor, gripping the floor with our feet. <sighs> Just like we do when we squat, right? <laughs> nice. Nice, nice. We're just getting warm. Okay, lowering the hips back down. Okay, we're gonna get started here. So we're gonna do one uh, section of exercises. We're gonna run through that three times, and then we're gonna do our, our challenge, have some fun, and then we're gonna go for another section of exercises. So that's the way today's gonna run. We're gonna start off with uh, something called a, uh, a tuck. It's a compression exercise. So what I'm gonna do with my mat, I'm gonna fold it over. So. If you do not have sliding socks on, that is okay. But if you do, we're going to be sliding into the body and sliding up. So you can do a tucked version of this or a straight up version. So if you have sliding socks on, tuck, you're going to just pull the knees into the chest and then press out. Pull the knees into the chest and press out. If you do not have slide, well, and the other version, <laughs> I'm sorry, it's Coming up into a jackknife and then coming back down. Coming up into a jackknife and coming back down. If you do not have slightest socks on, you can always walk the feet in and walk the feet out. Walk the feet in and walk the feet out. Okay, we're gonna do this for 60 seconds, everyone. Okay, we all ready to go? Wonderful. So, let's get set and let's begin. We're gonna tuck. It's 30 seconds, everyone. Jump right into a downward dog. So we got a lot of a lot of work on the hands today. We're gonna take some time, take a breath here, we can shift side to side. We're gonna lift one leg into the sky. We're gonna 
switch sides. seated position. So we're going to do something called a seated thoracic twist. So in this, we need to keep our back straight the entire time. Okay. And how hard it is, is how much you lean back and keeping that brace, just keeping all sides of your column nice and tight. We don't want to see you rotating like this. That's not okay. Right. So we're going to bring the back up nice and straight. You're going to get a moderate lean on. You're going to have the hands together in front of you. And we're just going to Move as much as your spine will allow. So if I look at you, move as much as your spine will allow. This is about as much as I have in thoracic movement. I don't want to bring my arms way far over because when I do that, I round through my spine. And rotation and flexion don't go well together. So we want to keep that chest nice and proud, nice and tall. And we're rotating. We're doing this for 60. If you haven't already started, let's go. <sighs> keeping that chest nice and tall. Brace. And I'm just keeping my hands in the center of my chest. I'm not moving through the hands. I'm moving through my thoracic spine. And keep that spine nice and straight and sturdy. You need to take a break during this one because your form is falling apart. That is okay. We don't want to push it crazy hard in this one because we, we want to keep that spine straight and we want to do things right. So keeping the hands in the center of the chest, keeping our back nice and straight. This is all the movement I have right now. We're doing great, keeping that brace on. Keep moving, everyone. <laughs> we got 15 seconds left. Again, I'm just gonna hang out in this position. Take a few breaths, embracing through our belly, gripping the floor with our feet, and breathing. Nice work, everyone. We're going to drop the hips to the floor. We're going to shift the knees to the side. We're going to come up into our tabletop position. And we're just going to sit the hips back into the child's pose. Mm. I'm not going to stay here for too long. Two, one, I'm gonna shift my mat. I'm gonna bring it up and we're gonna go right back into our 60 seconds of tucking. Okay? So we're gonna start in a plank position and let's begin. So pull the knees in, pressing out. Pull the knees in, pressing out. Make sure 
sure we're pulling through our abdominals and not as much through the legs, if that makes any sense. work everyone. Oh, we got a few seconds left. Chest, press the chest back towards the feet. So we pedal up the feet. Gonna shift into that bridge position for one second. Then we're gonna come back up. Okay, from here we're gonna do our spine thoracic spinal rotations. So we want that nice straight back, brace to our column, nice neutral spine, hands out in front. And how we make it harder is we can lean back further, or we can lean more forward with the straight back and make that easier. So wherever you're, wherever you're at, we're going to do this for 60 seconds. Let's begin. there everyone. Five seconds. Nice. Okay, we're gonna just lean back into our bridge position. We're gonna pick up through the hips. We're gonna grip the floor with our feet. We're gonna brace. The reason why I have my arms up is because this is comfortable for me. If you have your arms on the floor, you can get an active press to the ground. You can get a little help. This is going to be a little more challenging if you want more challenging. Bringing the feet together is also more challenging, but we're going to come back to the bridge um, in this workout. So this is just kind of like a we're priming the pump. This exercise. Go down through the hips, we're gonna shift 
We're gonna get up to our tabletop position. And then we're just gonna lean back into our child's pose. Stay here for too long. So bring the body up. Okay, we're gonna go back into our tucks again. Let's set up our mat so we can use our slack socks. <laughs> okay, pants were a bad choice, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna straighten up the legs. We're gonna start our tucks. Okay, three, two, one, let's begin to pull the knees into the chest, and I'm pushing back. Pull the knees into the chest, and I'm pushing back. Nice work, everyone. We're doing this for 60. Fifteen seconds left, everyone. Down dog. Press the chest back towards the feet. Just gonna pedal out the feet for a sec. Just gonna lift up that leg. Down, lift up the other one. Swing that leg through, come into the seated position. Just gonna lean back for a sec. Then we'll sit up. We're gonna do our thoracic rotations. Straight back, we're gonna do this for 60 seconds. Okay, hands together in front. Let's begin. Most important part of this is keeping that spine nice and straight. If you find you're rounding, either flatten the legs out a bit so you can get into a better position, or Position is key in this one. We don't want to be in that rounded position. It's not a not a good thing for our spine to rotate while in flexion. Fifteen seconds left. Back, we're gonna get 
get into a bridge position. Great, looking forward to the feet. We're thinking about that brace, squeezing through our bum, our glutes. first round. That's awesome. So what we're doing next, I'm just going to come over to the camera. We're going to do something called a crow. Uh, it's uh, commonly used, or a frog stand. It's commonly used in calisthenics or gym, uh, like um, yoga as well. Check, check the time. Wonderful. Oh, we got so much time. It's great. Um, yeah, so we're going to play with that. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to play with that for a few minutes, and then we can, we can go back into some more training. Awesome. So, we're going to get back into it. So, a crow, we're going to set up our hands on the floor just like we would in a tabletop position. It's going to be slightly to the side. So, it's going to be slightly to the side like this. That's okay. So, what we're going to do is get to a crouch position. Just up like this. And we're going to try to bring our elbows on top. I mean, our knees on top of our elbows. We're going to try to grip the floor and hang out in that position. So if this is something that's not comfortable with you at all, don't do it, <laughs> okay? But it's just something to play with, right? And it's something that you can get into, get more, get more into balancing. Because this is like the start of a handstand. This is what you would learn, like one of the first things you would learn to do a handstand. You'd learn your crow, you'd learn your teddy bear stand, and you'd learn a few other things like that, and then you would progress more into learning how to handstand. So again, and this is something you can just play with on your own. Just make sure you do a wrist warm up. So get into that position. We're gonna get elbows, high knees on top of our elbows. We're gonna, we're gonna just hold that position. That's awesome. So just like that, like uh, if you can't come off the floor, then uh, I would say, Lean, try to do it like that, and lift one foot, and then the other, one foot, and then the other, just alternating back and forth, and make sure that you don't hit your face. <laughs> so make sure your weight is more back than it is forward if you're um, struggling. And think about trying to really grip the floor with your hands in this. So we want to think about like really trying to grip the floor with, the, uh, with our hands, trying to pull through our fingertips, keeping the palm of our hand flat on the floor. So we're in that position. Awesome. So that's just something to play with. Wonderful, okay, so we've played with that. We're gonna shift on to something else. So we're gonna do something called a plank reach through for our, our next set, that's where we're gonna start with. So we're gonna start a high plank. We'll have a wide base with our feet. We're gonna lift one hand off the floor and reach under and come back up. Brace, reach under, come back up. A wide base of support with the feet. Nice work. We're going to do this for 45 seconds. I'm going to try not to shift. I know I'm shifting right now. <laughs> trying to stay tight. Awesome. We're going to go 
going to our tabletop position. We're just going to do a little bit more rotation. So we're going to reach up towards the ceiling with our hand, come back towards the ground, lowering the shoulders to the floor. Just alternating back and forth. So we're switching to the other side. We're going to lift through one arm. Just bringing that arm between the arm and leg. Resting our shoulder on the floor and then coming back up. Just doing a little active spinal rotation. Just doing some mobility. Next, I'm just gonna switch the feet around. I'm gonna lean back. We're gonna do bridge. We're gonna move the feet together, keep our hips pressed up. Our core is engaged. We're just gonna lift through one leg. We're gonna hold this for 30. We don't want our hips to drop or skew. We want both our hips to be in alignment with each other. If you need a little extra support, you can always push through the arms. <laughs> You can't keep that proper hip alignment. And 30. Let's shift the weight and we're lifting. Hips in alignment. Bilateral bridge. Just gonna hang out here for a second, making sure that we have a brace. We're gripping the floor with our feet. We're lowering back to the floor. We're gonna bring our knees into our chest, keeping our back straight. Straight up legs. We're gonna roll to one side. We're gonna get up into a uh, like the bottom of a push-up position. We're gonna press up into a cobra. Squeeze through our glutes, stay nice and tight. Rolling back down. Next, we're gonna press up into our high plank. Wide foot stance. We're gonna lift one hand, reach through. We're doing this for 45. Nice work, everyone. You guys are doing great. If you want to drop to a kneeling position, that's totally fine. Feet, 
knees back down to the mat. And we're going to do our thoracic rotations. So we're going to reach up towards the ceiling, bring the elbow down, the shoulder down to the floor, and then we'll come back up. Down the floor, and then we'll come back up. Sides, reaching up towards the ceiling and then back down. Legs, awesome. We're gonna bring our feet together, squeeze our glutes. We're gonna activate through our core. We're gonna lift our leg. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds. Switch sides. Guys are doing great. Nine and thirty. Lower and down for next. Awesome, everyone. I'm gonna pull the knees into the chest. One leg down to the mat. I'm just gonna pull that upright knee across the body, trying to keep both shoulders on the floor. Sides. You guys are doing great. So if you haven't noticed, we're, we're, we're into our cool down um, portion of the class. <laughs> so we're just going to be doing that and then, uh, then we'll be done. You guys did great today. I always, uh, always appreciate you guys coming out and uh, supporting us and uh, getting a good workout, right? Like that's uh, really important. For any time of life, just to get just just get time in. So next, we're gonna do a chest stretch. So we're gonna stretch uh, in this position. Lay down on the floor, arm out. I'm just gonna roll that back leg over. Hmm. 
We have our other hand here for support. You can feel this in the front of the chest. From there, we're going to bring one arm underneath the body. We want to think about pulling our shoulder down and towards the socket, across the chest. Mm -hmm. If you're not feeling anything here and both sides of your chest are on the, uh, on the arm, you can bring the same leg out to the side. So I have my right leg going, uh, right arm going underneath my body. So I'm going to lift the right leg up and towards my midline. Switch the sides. So remember to pull the shoulder down. If you're not feeling it too much, you can just bring the opposite leg, well, your same leg up. So if I have my left arm going underneath my body, I can bring my left leg up. Okay. Wonderful. So that's all, that's all I have for today. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope it was uh, 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 relaxing and uh, intense at the same time. Okay, thank you all for coming out.